Well, hi, this is Josh Nelson with the Plumbing and HVAC Online Dominance Blueprint. And in this session, we're going to be talking about paid online marketing, paid online directory listings, and pay per lead type services. And so, you know, we talked about the overall internet marketing strategy, starting with the foundation of having a properly optimized website making sure that you've got yourself set up with all of the right pages on your website, the conversion elements, uh, doing the off-page optimization for building inbound links, building authority for your domain, having a review acquisition strategy, and making sure that you're ranking in the organic non-pay-per-click listings for your most important plumbing and HVAC related keywords. And then we talked about once you've got that squared away, start looking at social media and email marketing as a way to connect with your customer on a deeper level and get more repeat and referral business. And as you've got those non-cost element pieces of your, of your solution or your internet marketing strategy squared away, then you can start looking at paid online marketing programs and paid online marketing efforts. So we talked about pay-per-click marketing and the way you can set up an effective pay-per-click marketing campaign on AdWords or Microsoft Bing Search to show up in the paid listings. And on this session, I want to talk about other paid marketing components, things like you know online directory listings that you can pay for premium listing on, like Angie's List and City Search, and talk about you know various paper lead services. And I know there's a negative stigma around those paper lead services, but there are sites where you can pay on a per lead basis and gain access to the leads. And if you do it correctly and you choose the right programs, you can get a solid return on investment from those as well. So here's what we're going to cover in the session. We're going to talk about the top online directory sites that you might want to purchase a paid listing in. And so there's literally hundreds of online directories from Judy's Book to Angie's List to CitySearch to YP.com and all kinds of other little secondary directories. I'm going to talk about the ones that are the biggest, the ones that will help you gain exposure where your customers are looking. Then we'll talk about the, the top pay-per-lead sites and services that might be worth investing in. And there's not as many of these, but there are a handful of quality pay-per-lead or pay on a monthly basis for leads type sites that you can pick the leads in your area. And then I'm going to talk about how you can leverage email marketing and strategic follow-up to maximize the return on investment from those pay-per-lead services. Because it's real easy to lose money on those pay-per-lead services. You pay you know twenty or fifty dollars per lead or you pay five hundred dollars per month and you get a lot of leads coming in and they're they're not qualified leads that are picking you specifically they're going to a number of different guys in your area and so if you just make one single call out there and give up on it that's going to be a, a total loss for you and so being strategic with how you handle those leads will help you significantly improve your conversion and your return on investment from all the pay-per-lead services that you might invest in. And so that's what I'm going to be talking about on this session. So what are the paid online directory listings and online sites that you could consider? Well, like I said, there are literally hundreds of them. The ones we found to be most prominent, so the ones that actually get eyeballs, when they're in the mode for your services are Angie's List, BBB, YP.com, Yelp, and City Search and or City Grid. City Grid is the engine behind City Search. And so if you had an unlimited budget and you were already doing really well from your organics and you wanted to pay for some additional premium placement in online directories, these are the ones I would want to consider. YP.com, you need to be real careful as you look at YP.com not to get them in a place where they want to rope you into their yellow page ad because the cost goes from you know a couple hundred bucks a month to potentially a couple thousand dollars per month when you start to get into their yellow pages book and their pay-per-click advertising. Do not let yellow pages manage your pay-per-click advertising under any circumstances. You've got the pay-per-click marketing blueprint with this program. I go very detailed into how to set up an effective pay-per-click campaign. You don't want to let any of these companies try and touch your pay-per-click advertising on Google and Yahoo and Bing. Do it the right way. Set up the ad groups. Get it correct. So when I say YP.com, I'm really talking about their YP.com website where in your city there are little boxes and banners that show up at the top and along the side. 
it may be worth spending $300 to $500 per month to show up in that area as there are still some people going to YP.com when they need plumbing or HVAC related services. Pay close attention to your tracking. See how many visitors are coming from it. See how many calls are coming in from it so that you can gauge whether there's true return on investment associated with that listing. The, the other two that are kind of, I say, lower level are you know CitySearch and Yelp.com. These are more restaurant-related sites. Less people go there when they need home service type solutions, but there are a lot of eyeballs on City Search and Yelp. If for some reason you have a lot of reviews on Yelp.com, it might not be a bad play to pay for a premium ad on their directory for the plumbing and HVAC related services. One that I have up here is, is BBB, the Better Business Bureau, and it's not just an online directory. Um, it is a major credibility symbol. It's not as popular as it once was, but having the BBB logo and saying that you're A-plus credited and having a link where the consumer can go and research a little bit more, that is a, a play that I think is worth the investment just from a credibility standpoint. I haven't found that you're going to get a ton of leads or any leads from being in the BBB, but it's a great credibility symbol and a great thing to reference. And of course, I saved what I feel is, is the best for last when it comes to paid online directory services for your plumbing or HVAC business, and that's Angie's List. And so Angie's List is, from my experience, both working with some of the largest plumbing and HVAC companies across the country and interviewing multi-million dollar plumbing business owners, I've consistently heard that Angie's List is a great place to get quality inbound calls, quality inbound customers. And so some of the things I like about Angie's List is you're able to attract the higher quality customer. So the customer that's not looking for the low price, but is looking for quality, looking for convenience. And if you look back at our online marketing fundamentals uh, or our marketing fundamentals section of this blueprint or this course, we talked about knowing what your target market is, knowing who you sell to, and crafting messages that resonate deeply with those specific consumers. And so if you identify that you want homeowners, people above the age of 35, people that aren't finicky about price but definitely want to pay a premium for quality, for professionalism, for timeliness, well, then Angie's List is going to be your place to reach, one of your good places to reach that target market. The people that are Angie's List customers have paid in order to gain access to a list of quality contractors. So they're literally shelling out dollars to gain access just to be getting qualified, pre-qualified contractors. So just by that virtue alone, you know that you're going to be dealing with a higher level individual. The other thing is you have the ability to, to build up a following on Angie's List. I'm going to talk about that in a second and build up your, your online reviews. But there are a lot of people that reference Angie's List. Depending upon your market, I would do some research, find out how popular, how many how many users there are on the Angie's List in your market. If it's got a lot of people, like in areas like California, Indianapolis, Florida, and, and pretty much throughout the United States, you definitely want to look at it. Of course, I'll mention if you're watching this video from Canada, the, the big one in that area is Homestar. So that's not one that I spend a lot of time talking about here, but if you're in Canada, you definitely want to be on Homestars and you want to look at a paid placement there. So a couple caveats with Angie's List in order to make the paid promotional section of it work. And, and just to clarify here, when I'm talking about these paid online directory listings, I'm not referring to the free listing that you get. As part of the Maps Marketing Blueprint, where I talked about how to get yourself ranked on the Google Map, I talked about getting directory listings with your company name, address, and phone number on Angie's List and City Search and Best of the Web and Yelp.com. All of those are your free listings. So you definitely want to be in all of these directories at some level, even if it's just a throwaway free listing. What I'm talking about here is the premium placement where you're paying to be a featured advertiser on that directory in your market. So as you look at moving from a free listing to a paid listing on Angie's List, you need to have a lot of good reviews. So the, the, the engine that makes your Angie's List profile or your Angie's List listing drive calls and drive customers is reviews. So you need to have a good aggregate, a good base of reviews to be successful. 
So if you've already got a handful of good reviews on Angie's List, you probably are in a good place. If you don't have any or if you've got a handful of bad reviews, <laughs> you may wind up struggling and might want to pass on Angie's List altogether just because the person is looking to deal with the company that has reviews from other Angie's List users and has a great reputation. So with that said, if you don't have a lot of reviews, or even if you do have some, you want to leverage the review development process with an Angie's List to accelerate your return on investment. So as part of Angie's List, as part of your paid advertising program, they have tools that will help you get reviews from your customers. So you can export a database of your company, of your customer's name, address, and email address, and they'll bounce that against Angie's, Angie's List users base and send an email on your behalf saying, hey, this company is an, an active Angie's List member and you did business with them recently. We'd love it if you would write them a review. And so that can really accelerate the process in helping you to get those reviews on Angie's List. And so here's one of the benefits. Once you're on Angie's List, you get these little badges that you can put on your website. And I talked about the, the credibility badge of BBB and saying you're Better Business Bureau approved, uh, accredited, and you've got a certain A or A plus rating. Same thing with Angie's List. As you get a lot of reviews and you get positive reviews, you earn super service awards from Angie's List. And you can take these badges and you can put them on your website and you can put them in your marketing materials. And it's just a great credibility symbol coupled with or without the, the BBB listing. And here's an example of a site that is really leveraging BB, uh, uh, leveraging their Angie's List review, uh, Angie's List badges. So they won 2011, 2010, 2009, and 2012, and so they've got that highly featured on their website, and people like that. Even if you're not an Angie's List member, but you know what Angie's List is, and you see, wow, this company must be good because Angie's List people aren't throw away reviews. I mean, they, they want to make sure they're well treated. And so knowing that you've got these super service awards will help with your, your conversion ability. So now let's talk about pay per lead services. And you know, these are the services where you can pay per lead or you can pay on a per monthly basis to gain access to all the leads that come in in your market. And ju you know, just to name a few of the ones that we've seen, and you know, I'm not 100% saying you should do this, I'm saying if you, if you need some additional leads or you've got an inside sales team that can follow up with these proactively, these are some good options. So there's eLocal Plumber. Or e, yeah, eLocal Plumber. There's Home Advisor. There's Construction Deal. There's Networks, which is also really plumbing networks. And then, then you know, I have Service Magic up here, but that is now Home Advisor. So these are the big ones. There are others like Plumbers Nearby and a number of other ones you'll can see in the resources section a list of these where you can go off sign up and, and test out these paper lead services so how do paper lead services work you only pay when you get a qualified lead in your area for most of them other ones you, you have a budget you set you know 500 bucks a month to get all the leads that come in from that area I know that's how plumbing networks works and I believe how plumbers nearby works um, but Home Advisor and I believe eLocal Plumber, you pay a monthly fee and you get all the leads that come in from, from that area. I mean, from Home Advisor, you pay on a per lead basis. Some of them let you set a budget. So you can say, hey, I'll, I'll buy up to $500 worth of leads this month. And then they have varying tiers of prices. So if it's a regular plumbing service, maybe it's $7. If it's a repipe estimate, that might be $20. And so your budget goes towards those leads that you get. And this can be used to augment the number of leads that are coming from your other marketing channels. So you've got your pay-per-click marketing strategy running. You've got your organic listings and you've got traffic coming in. You're in the major online directories. And you just want to bump the, the lead flow. These services can help to really just start channeling you people that are in the market for your plumbing and HVAC related services. Um, However, you have to be diligent and quick with your follow-up. You know, you hear a lot of horror stories about how badly these lead services work and how you can throw so much money away. And I'll be the first to say I don't think it's the place to start. I mean, if you built your internet marketing strategy on paper lead services, 
you're destined to fail. You know, you can't build a sustainable business around that. But if it's just an add-on to a really strong internet marketing and marketing program, then it can be it can be relatively good. The key is you have to remember these requests for leads aren't coming to you directly, right? They're on Home Advisor, they're on a local plumber, they're sending in an anonymous request for quote, typing in their name and their email address, knowing that they're going to get a number of calls and they're probably going to be price conscious shoppers. So they're using these services because they want to get the, the lower price. So keep that in mind. I mean, if you don't have time and energy to chase down what are lower quality leads, then I would say pass on these paper lead services altogether. But these leads then also go out to you and a number of other plumbing companies right in your area. And you have to be aggressive. You have to be the first person to get them on the phone. You have to be professional. You have to have a compelling offer that makes them want to have you come to their home and choose you as opposed to the competition. And I think you want to set up a, a follow-up system to make sure that you have a fallback plan for those that you can't reach right away. So a couple things. You can get these leads in a variety of different formats. So they'll send you an email. You can log in and download an Excel list. Or you can receive a text message that alerts you as soon as the, the email comes through. If you have a dispatcher on your team, you know, be sure to assign somebody specifically to follow up on the lead. So know who's accountable for these leads when they come in. So if it's going to you and to your dispatcher or you and one of your sales guys, you don't want there to be any confusion that the sales guy's thinking, oh, well, you're going to follow up or you think they're going to follow up and then the lead falls through the, you know, falls through the cracks. Assign someone very specifically to reach out to these people. Have a predefined script on how the call should be handled. Um, you know, be professional, be courteous, be quick. You know, you know, a lot of these are going to go to the first person that gets them on the phone. So be really aggressive. Don't just call once. Have a process where you reach out to these people three to five times over the course of the next 24 hours because they're in the window to buy, and then have a fallback strategy assuming you don't get them on the phone. So if you don't get them on the line, make sure that you're entering their name and their email address someplace so that you can remain top of mind with them. And the reality is, this is somebody in your service area that is in need of plumbing services, so they're probably a homeowner, and you've got their name and their email address. If you're not sending an email follow-up to these people, if you're not adding them to your email marketing database, then you're wasting marketing dollars. If you just spent five, ten, twenty-five dollars for that lead, and you're not proactively, diligently following up with them via email, you might as well not even play. And so I've got up on the screen what I think could be a, a relatively solid fallback strategy: set up a email autoresponder on Aweber or Instant Customer or one of these systems where your dispatcher can enter the customer's name and email address and have a series of emails that go out to the customer over the next several days. Remember though, don't let this be your crutch. Don't think that these emails are going to do the trick. The aggressive follow-up work on the phone is what's going to get them on, you know, get them going, get you in the home and then get you the business, but just have this as a fallback strategy. So your first email could say subject your recent plumbing inquiry and then populate their name, you know, Tom you recently requested, requested, submitted a request on a local plumber for some help with plumbing services or HVAC service. I just want, I just called and left a message for you at the number that was listed, and look forward to talking with you soon. You can reach me directly at this number. You know, with so many plumbing companies out there in your area, it can be hard to choose. It can be hard to know who to trust. At XYZ Plumbing, we've been servicing this area for. You know, since 1982 and are dedicated to resolving your plumbing issue quickly, cost effectively, and without leaving a mess. Give me a call at this number to schedule your service. And so that's a great way just to, you've called, now you've sent an email, they've heard from you twice. Um, then you can set the second email to go out maybe 24 hours later. Hey John, you know, subject, special offer for your plumbing service, so try and prompt them into action if they are a price conscious shopper. You know, John, you indicated you're in need of some plumbing services. Uh, a few days ago, I'm sure you've received a number of calls from plumbers who are eager to earn your business. Well, as 
our outside the box approach to getting your attention, we wanted to offer you a special offer. If you call today and reference the coupon, we will knock 20, 10% off your estimate for services and then have the coupon. Call now to get 10% off your plumbing service with XYZ Plumbing. So this is just another touch, maybe prompt them into action. They're in the market. This automatically happens after you enter the customer's name and email address. And then email number three, you know, maybe three days later, um, you know, your recent plumbing inquiry. John, I hope this note reaches you well. You reached out to us earlier this week via eLocal Plumber looking for some help with your plumbing. We'd love to be of service to you. I've tried a few times over the phone. Uh, on the phone number you listed with no success and don't know if you're just busy or maybe you've already ha hired another company, please shoot me a quick reply and let me know if I can be of assistance or give me a call at this number. So this is just a way to make sure that you've got a thorough follow through that's automatically happening via email and this should be done in tandem to calling these people at least three to five times over the next three days to try and capture their attention. But don't stop there. Again, you've got their name, you've got their email address. You should be marketing to these people via email at least on a monthly basis. So my strategy is you should have an email database and you should be sending out an email to your entire customer population and prospect population once a month with some type of update. You know, here's what's going on at our company. Here's why you would want to consider tankless water heaters. You know, some special offer incentive. And then just remain top of mind so that you can build your customer base both in email and, and social media. So, I mean, that's, that's really it. I mean, as you look at, at paid online advertising, as you look for paid per lead services, you know, definitely be cautious. You know, don't overspend. Put the tracking in place to make sure you've got strong return on investment. If you are going to play the pay per lead service game, make sure that you have a proactive, diligent process that touches these people multiple times via phone and via, and via email.